Hey, it's Nick here. I hope you're uh, amazing. In today's episode, I want to talk about, you know, a possible overcomplication of procedures and systems. And here's what I mean by this. I just uh, finished speaking to a client and, you know, this guy is really, really intelligent, right? He's a problem solver. The work that he does is ultra technical, you know, what he does. And uh, it's got to be, you know, reliable. It's got to work perfectly. And, um, you know, there's no kind of room for error. So everything that he thinks is all about, you know, making sure that there's a solution done perfectly. Anyway, we're starting to systemize his business because the buck sort of stops all at him and we want to open it up. And he's got other team members in it, but, you know, it's highly complicated. The work that he does and people that purchase from him kind of want him to get this done. Now, in saying that, that's cool, but it's not scalable. So we started talking about, you know, different things that he's broken down. And, you know, I said, hey, dude, like it seems like there's a lot of kind of parts of what you do. And I get it, it's complicated. However, it seems like not everything needs to be a procedure. Not everything needs to be done. Um, you know, uh, like this. And I think we could probably, you know, squish it down into the absolute must have or the absolute doables that you need to have in order for you to really get uh, the job done, right? And, you know, you could you could overcomplicate and have 500 steps. My personal uh, um, idea around that is if you create a procedure, no more than five to 10 steps, top, stop, stop. So you're just going to need to think about it. So the answer is yes, we can overcomplicate stuff. We can make it so difficult that the client I'm uh, sorry, that employee can, can't even fathom on, on how to do it because it's just too much, it's too much uh, overwhelm. So I want you to think about it that every time that you're going to do a procedure, every time that you're going to start to break down for somebody else to be able to do it, you want to download it in the easiest, simplest step possible. If you can go from 10 steps to two steps, it's a really good thing. If you could just go one step, it'd be even better. But it's hard, right? You need a few different steps. Now, another thing that I like to do is then to record it because you've got the opportunity just like this um, to get down your thoughts on, on video, which is really, really cool. And it's easier than kind of getting it down on paper. So here's the best way to do it. Number one, just break it, you know, write it down on a piece of paper or on your iPad or whatever it may be, five to 10 steps tops. Number two, record it. See if it kind of makes any logical sense. Right. Number three, get somebody with that recording to go, hey, could you get the job done? Show me right before overcomplicating it and making it even more, you know, difficult to get it. And number four, hey, if it works really well, see if you can shorten it down even more, because if you can, it's really good. I like the three step process. Number one, get this done. Number two, get this done. Number three, get this done. That's it. Right. Super easy. Don't overcomplicate stuff. Sound good. Now, if you need some help with systems and procedures, Hey man, you know, this is what we do. We help businesses, you know, with our coaching model. This is what we work on. It's one of our, um, you know, P's that we work on. And, you know, it's all good, good. If you need some help, just reach out, let us know. www.upcoach.com.au. All right, hope you're amazing. Remember, the only way is up.